Hey you! In this video, I'll be ranking every single Black Ops 1 wall weapon, not including the World at War maps, from worst to best. And while there aren't a lot of wall weapons, 10 to be exact, the competition is still fierce. Enjoy! Starting at number 10, I have the PM63. This gun is overshadowed by another early wall weapon 100% of the time, so there isn't much to be said about the base weapon. However, uh, when papped, it's also nothing special. It chews through its already low ammo count due to the epic combination of dual wield effectively doubling the fire rate while also lowering accuracy. Poop. Just above the PM63 at number 9, we have the MP40. I know some of you might think this is absolutely criminal, and I understand, but it only appears on two maps being Call of the Dead and Kino der Toten. And while it's a good early game weapon, the only map I see myself buying it on is Kino der Toten, as it's like a little bit too far away on Call of the Dead. I've already got the MPL in hand when I get to the MP40. So in my eyes, it really only shows up on one map being Kino der Toten. That's all I really have to say about it. When pack punched into the afterburner, it has 300 and something bullets, which is fine. It's also not a weapon I'm really pack punching. So it sits on nine for pretty much just being on two maps. Up next is a stakeout. All you have to say is that early on, points are gold, so this is not a weapon you'll be buying early unless you're desperate. If you're picking this up, you're probably pack-a-punching it, and there are just better options. The AK-74U. It's always just an awkward weapon on every map. I never find myself buying it, as it's too far into any map to be a good early weapon and not good enough to be used late game. By the time you get to it, you probably have a better box weapon. So that's all I really have to say about it. You can make an argument that it's good for use in this room in Shangri-La to get points while you're trying to get the baby gun, since there's a wall by for it right by the door next to the water spout. But that's really all it has going for it. At number 6, we have the M16. You're probably only picking this up on Kino to get points on the stage but when you pack a punch it it has a, a lot of ammo it has that built-in grenade launcher nothing else to really say about it its utility is very limited in getting points on pretty much specifically Kino der Toten and on every other map the wall by location is just like too far out where you already have better weapons by then next to number five right in the middle of the list we have the Olympia I like this gun a lot but not the base version. I like the Hades. So we all know the beef between M14 gang and Olympia gang. I'm on M14 gang myself. However, if there was an Amnesia gang and a Hades gang, I would be Hades gang every single day. Upon pack a punching this weapon, it gets a much faster reload, big damage, and it sets zombies ablaze. Better than the stakeout in my opinion, but just not good early game, and that's what matters most in BO1. It's still a starting room weapon though, so I'd let it sit this high for that one reason. It's there for you right away on every single map. The MP5K. I like this weapon a lot, but it doesn't quite break top 3. Now, 5 is probably the map that I play most on Black Ops 1, and this is the weapon that I pick up every single time to get points early on. Feels bad putting it this low, but you're really only using it early, early on, you're not pack-a-punching it, and there is one gun that just stands right above it. The MPL. Breaking top 3 and surpassing the MP5K, I find myself picking this up more often. This gun simply carries me through early game on more maps than the mp5k does that's all number two we have the bowie knife let me just start by saying that this weapon isn't a purchase it's an investment you build enough points to grab this early game and it's worth its weight in gold up to round 10. even past round 10 you can shoot a couple bullets at a zombie before knifing them to continue knifing for a little while it is just such a worthwhile investment even if you pick it up on round eight or nine even past round 10 i don't care it's amazing coming in first place is the m14 early game efficiency is king and this is the shit you're grabbing every single time you boot up any map m14 is the definition of early game cheap easy to use point machine when combined with your knife this is the exact kind of weapon you want right away imagine if it was any other type of weapon nothing comes close to the m14 maybe a slightly stronger pistol could replace it but like forget about that this is the undisputed king of black ops 1 there's never a game in which you don't buy this weapon and that's all for the unpapped m14 the amnesia is a pretty good option later on if you're into that and it can certainly hold its own but there are better options thanks for watching <laughs>